Hi YouTube, thanks to everybody for watching and thank you to my subscribers for the continued support. So what kind of crazy headline we have today? Well, this one right here. This woman, a self-described cyborg, can sense every earthquake in real time. Now while her name and age are very, very suspicious, if this story isn't real, it's going to be a reality very soon because this whole humanity merging with machine thing is very real. So here's Moon Ribus Oribus. I don't know how you say that, but Moon. Gotta love that. Just might be the most normal looking cyborg you'll meet. Unlike the contingent of extreme biohackers or grinders, the 30, of course she is. The 30 year old Spanish avant garde artist superpower or self imposed aberration is not immediately obvious. She has a tiny magnet near the crook of her elbow that allows her to feel all tremors and earthquakes anywhere on Earth in real time. And it's not just her. Like her longtime artistic partner, Neil Harbison, who has a color-sensing antenna permanently attached to his cranium, she says the external physical change is not the point of being a cyborg. I modified my body to modify my mind. As you can see in the video above, she translates the tremor she feels in her arms into dance movements because it's the dance of destruction. Humanity is being destroyed right before our very eyes. And it gets better down here. During the 7.8 earthquake that devastated parts of Nepal last year, strong, vibra excuse me, strong vibrations pulsing in her arm woke her in the middle of the night. It felt very weird like I was there, she says. I feel connected to the people who suffered through an earthquake. This seismic sense has become like her second heartbeat. Bear with me, I'm just kind of skipping through. To sharpen her seismic sense, she's considering getting implants on her feet so she could immediately discern where earthquakes occur in the world. Maybe I'll use each toe to define each continent, but that's still in process, she says. You know, you shouldn't need to put things in your body or implant things to feel connected to people. Nope. You have the natural ability to do that. I mean, you know what's scary? Is that this is just a normal conversation. You know, I could walk up to somebody and tell them this was in the news, and they'd be like, yeah, so? Ten years ago, it was conspiracy and nonsense and Looney Tune talk. Now it's just how quick it changed. And now it's just, yeah, so? It's nucking futz, man.